did yours do this? Yeah. So, and for 40, right, I should have done on, oh, how do I uh, say the lines? Oh, uh, option X, display uh, space line, it's actually hyphen, but, and then hit yeah. tab. Yeah. Numbers mode. Yep. Okay. So on line 23, I should have said right. Okay, let's see. Forward. Right. Forward. All right. And then forward. And then line 25 should be left, I think. I think so, too. And forward, and then line 27 should be left. That one I don't know, I hadn't really tracked. Yeah, neither have I. So I'm going to do that and save, and then run. Alrighty. Does it look like this? Um. Okay, so I'm back up at the top, and I can... Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, let's, so, cool, that's going to be on the internet. Uh, okay. Unless I cut it. I oh, might. That, yeah, I might want to do that. Um, so I'm back up at the top, and tell me again how I make it so I can click. Oh, uh, let me go back to yours. Oh, I don't know why it went to the messages window again. Um, control X B. Control X B buffer, and then, and then I it I looks like it, the so it has a it says that it would go to shell if you hit enter right now. Okay. You see that at the very bottom it says switch to yeah. buffer default shell. So I should first press enter. Yeah. Oh look at that. Okay, Python. Um, but the last over. time it was a different window that it would that it would have brought you to by default. Anyway, yeah. So put your cursor there and then hit enter. Yeah. And let me know if it looks like my screen. Yes. It'd be really helpful to figure out how to make this display in this in the in my Emacs window. And yours, I guess, if I figure it out. That would be great. And then we wouldn't have to keep switching. Um, all right, so now that you're there. Oh shoot, I gotta go in like three minutes. Okay. So now that I'm there, I'll go forward 40 times. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see. So, let's One, see two, three, four. Okay. So let me take away this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away my exit on line 28. And then. And that two four, and then let's see. So instead of left, you want to go right, I think. You'll be down here. Four. Uh, yeah, you'll and be then down this two right. Here. Oh. That's annoying. Okay. Oh, okay. What happened? Oh, um, so I'm going to delete that. So, 40 times 4, dude, write 90, forward 40, or, and then I take away this. Hard to 40, take away that.
Okay, and then I'm gonna say exit one. Is that what I do? Uh, yes, but you need a close parenthesis. Oh, the line thirty uh needs an extra, oh. or that that close parenthesis down on line thirty two should have been up there. So okay. get rid of the one on line thirty two. And then line 31 should be unindented. Okay. So you have forward 40 times 4, and then right. Wait. Wait. No, you have. OK, yeah. I'm caught up. Um, do, 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 doodly do. Doodly doodly do. Doodly do. Is that what yours looks like? I think I might have missed a line. I'm not sure. Let me see. Control save. Go up here. And then I'm going to go. Okay. Enter. Right. So 27 left 90. 28, forward 40 mm -hmm. times 4, right 90, forward 40 times 4. Is that what yours looks like? Oh, no. You just ran right off the screen there, buddy. Okay. Oh, yeah. no, buddy. Get, don't do that, bud. Okay. Oh, no, buddy. Wait. Okay. I will, real Very quick, cool. Okay. let's just say that the code that you had was enough to fill up one quarter of the screen. Okay. Um, here's what it would look like to turn that into a method. Uh, so you would put the word death. Oh. And then uh, mm -hmm. one quarter. And then all of this stuff gets indented once. Okay. And then in order to actually run all of this code. So now all of this code has a name and the uh -huh. name is one quarter. So to order, uh, this is just like a, a set of instructions. To actually perform the instructions, you need to call the method, which means write the name of the method sure. by itself. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I need to go. So okay. <laughs> I'll Bye. see you next time. Bye. Okay. See you next time. Bye.